The Israeli Air Forces has quite a number of guided bombs. Most of them are imported from the United States. These precision guided munition bombs have been used during airstrikes, and because the damage caused by explosive weapons decreases with distance according to a power law, even minor gains in accuracy allow a target to be effectively attacked with fewer or smaller bombs. As a result, guided weapons put fewer air crews at risk, spend less ordnance, and collide less. Today, the buzz will present the list of all the guided bombs that are used by the Israeli Air Force. Some of these guided bombs were dropped during the Israel-Gaza conflict, so stay tuned and do not go anywhere. So firstly, we have the GBU-12. This is a laser-guided aerial bomb based on the MK-82 500-pound general-purpose bomb, but with a nose-mounted laser seeker and guidance fins. The Paveway 2 laser-guided bombs employ bang-bang guidance. When the bomb is attempting to direct to the laser spot, the fins on the bomb deflect fully rather than proportionally. If it sees the laser spot and decides to make an adjustment, it deflects its fins until it has overcorrected, then it deflects back in the opposite direction, resulting in sinusoidal form of movement. Up next is the GBU-15. The unpowered Rockwell International Guided Bomb Unit 15 is used to kill high-value enemy targets. It was created to work with the F-15E Strike Eagle for the IAF, and it is capable of both direct and indirect attacks. Before launching a direct attack, the pilot chooses a target, locks the weapon guidance system on it, and fires the weapon. The weapon automatically guides itself into the target, enabling the pilot to leave the area. In an indirect attack, the weapon is guided by remote control after launch. With pinpoint accuracy, this highly agile weapon provides an optimum low to medium altitude delivery capability. It also has a standoff capability. Up next is the GBU-16. This is a laser-guided bomb from the American Paveway series, and it is based on the 1,000-pound MK-83 general-purpose bomb, but with a laser seeker and wings for guidance. According to Raytheon's Paveway 2 fact sheet, 99 directed explosive deliveries would result in a circular error probability of just 3.6 feet, compared to 310 feet for 99 unguided bombs dropped under similar conditions. The GBU-16 was introduced into service around 1976 and is used by the U.S. Air Force, Israeli Air Force, and some other NATO countries. Next, we have the GBU-27. The GBU-27 Paveway 3 Guided Bomb Unit is a laser-guided bomb with bunker buster capability. The purchase of 500 GBU-27s with BLU-109 penetrating warheads by Israel in September 2004 was the first international sale of the GBU-27. In July 2006, Israel requested that delivery of such precision-guided munitions be accelerated, though the exact munition was not stated. Other precision-guided munitions were used to target Hezbollah installations in the 2006 Israel-Lebanon war, according to Israeli Defense Forces officials. Because of its destructive force and explosion radius, it was dubbed the Hammer by pilots flying over Iraq during the first Gulf War. The next guided bomb that Israel has is the GBU-28. This 2,268-kilogram laser-guided bunker-busting bomb developed by the United States. When the GBU-28 hits the ground, a short delay time fuse is activated, which triggers detonation when it has penetrated deeply enough to completely destroy the target. The purchase of 100 GBU-28s by Israel in April 2005 was the first foreign sale of the GBU-28. In July 2006, Israel requested that the weapons be delivered faster. In 2009, Israel received 55 GBU-28. There were unconfirmed reports that Israel used the GBU-28 during the 2008 to 2009 Gaza War. Up next is the GBU-31 Joint Direct Attack Munition, which is a 2,000-pound class munition that is guided by $18,000 tail package. It is capable of high-precision, all-weather autonomous conventional bombing. 
The JDAM will integrate a guidance kit into the existing stockpile of MK83-1000 and MK84-2000 pound general-purpose unitary bombs, as well as the 2000 pound hard-target penetrator bomb by integrating a guidance kit consisting of an inertial navigation system or global positioning system guidance kit. GBU-32 is up next on the list. This is a 1,000-pound variant of the JDAM. The JDAM was meant to improve upon laser-guided bomb and imaging infrared technology which can be hindered by bad ground and weather conditions. Laser seekers are now being fitted to some JDAMs. Before taking off, mission plans are loaded onto the host aircraft, which include the release envelope, target coordinates and weapon terminal settings. When the airplane applies power during captive carry, the weapon begins its initialization procedure automatically. Up next is the GBU-39 small diameter bomb. According to the media reports, U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has approved a $735 million sale of precision-guided weaponry to Israel. According to the Washington Post, the proposed sale includes joint direct attack munitions and GBU-39 small-diameter bombs. The GBU-39 small-diameter bomb is a 110-kilogram precision-guided glide bomb designed to allow aircraft to carry a greater quantity of more precise bombs. The bomb's tiny size allows a single-strike aircraft to carry more weapons than is currently possible with existing bomb units. The U.S. Air Force used the BLU-109. This is a hardened, penetrating bomb. It is designed to blast through concrete shelters and other hardened structures before exploding just like other bunker busters. In addition to the U.S., it is part of the armament of the Air Forces of Israel and other countries. The BLU-109B has a steel casing about 25 mm thick, filled with 530 pounds of tritonal. It has a delayed action tail fuse. This weapon can penetrate 4 to 6 feet of reinforced concrete, which is greater than the 3-foot capability of the small diameter bomb. Israel Military Industries produces the MPR-500, a 500-pound multi-purpose rigid penetration and surface attack bomb. It has the same efficacy and size as a Mark 84 bomb and can pierce reinforced concrete up to 1 meter thick. Boeing gave its approval for the Joint Direct Attack Munition Guidance Kit. During Operation Protective Edge, the Israeli Air Force discovered that the MPR is 95% effective at targeting and destroying targets. The MPR-500 can penetrate four 200mm thick reinforced concrete walls or floors, one meter thick of reinforced concrete. MPR-500 also includes 26,000 controlled fragments to deliver focus blast and control fragmentation effects against a wide range of targets in open terrain with minimum collateral damage. Up next is MLGB Medium Weight Laser Guided Bomb. It is developed by the Israel Aerospace Industries. This 250-pound precision-guided glide bomb can attack both fixed and moving targets. MLGB is a dual-mode laser-guided or GPS-guided weapon optimized for light-attack aircraft. It is 1.7 meter long and weighs just 113 kg, with the capable warhead accounting for the majority of the weight. The MLGB's laser homing capabilities allows it to accomplish precise homing against both fixed and moving targets. The warhead's small weight makes it ideal for operations when minimizing collateral damage is critical. Up next is the Fast Light. This is a precision-guided glide bomb with a tiny size and weight that can attack both stationary and moving targets and may be launched from small platforms. Israel Military Industries developed it. The warhead's small weight makes it ideal for operations when minimizing collateral damage is critical. It has GPS, INS, laser guidance and CEP of 10 meters. And that's it from the buzz for today. To continue to support us, don't forget to hit that notification and like button so we can keep making video for you guys.